Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you how to perform object tracking using YOLO NAS and DeepSort algorithm. So object tracking is a task where we detect the object in the first frame and then we try to track that object in the next frames. So for object detection, I'm using YOLO NAS model and for object tracking, I'm going to use DeepSort algorithm. So let's begin. So uh, guys, if you don't have YOLO NAS already uh, on your pieces, then you can install this super gradient package like this. Once you install this, after that you can run YOLO NAS model. And the torch version I'm using is 1.12.1 and it is compiled with CUDA 11.6. And the GPU I'm using is RTX 3090. Now let's enter in the folder where I have my code. So guys, one more thing before starting the code is this is the folder where I'm working. Okay. So here you can see this deep underscore sort. So I am sharing the link of this repo in the description section. You can get that deep sort folder from there because today we are working on deep sort algorithm. So we need a code which uh, you know perform the deep sort algorithm task the tracking task using deep sort so these are the files and folders inside this deep sort and i have shared the link in description section you can get this folder from there okay and put it in the current working directory where you're working okay and then these test videos are the videos on which i am performing testing and the output is a folder where i have stored the output videos with tracking and detections and then this and this these are the pre-trained models okay so what we are doing is today we are detecting and tracking person class so for that i am using the pre-trained model uh, which is trained on Coco dataset because Coco dataset have a person class so what we are doing is we are using that pre-trained model to detect and tra uh, detect the person uh, per first and then we are using this model to track the persons okay so this you need to place in your current working directory now after that let me show you the code now okay so this is my Jupyter notebook so where is this Jupyter notebook this Jupyter notebook is outside this folder here so this is the Jupyter notebook which I'm showing you and this is the folder which have my code what code deep sort and these two trained um, weight files okay so let's come here now we are entering in the folder after that I am importing the modules these are some required modules helper libraries and these two lines are used to import the different modules of super gradients because we are going to use YOLO NAS model so we need to import the required libraries like this and these three lines are importing the important files and modules of deep sort algorithm okay so now guys first i'm showing you how we use yolo nas model and then i'll show you how we use deep sort and then i'll combine the code and we'll see how these two models work together okay so how this yolo nas model predicts so we import the modules like this this is the image on which i want to perform testing and then model here See, I'm using the YOLO NAS underscore S means small model. In the same way, they have medium and large model. You can use whatever model you want to try. So this is the pre-trained model, which is trained on Coco dataset. And here, I'm using model.predict. I want to perform the prediction on this image and the confidence score I want is this, okay? So I want all those detections which are uh, where this threshold value match, okay? so then after that i'm saving the results so if you want to save the um, image with the detections then you can use this save and if you want to see it right now on your screen then you can use this show method okay once you execute this command you will see a output.jpg image let's execute it let's execute this whole code 
Okay, let's restart once and then now we are here. So the code is getting executed. After that, you will get a output.jpg. Okay, so this is processed now. Let's see the output.jpg. So inside this output.jpg, you can see this is the uh, output video. Okay, so on this we uh, output image, sorry. So this is my image with detections. Now, let's see further. Now the thing is, I want to uh, get the bounding boxes, confidence scores and the labels which are associated with this output image. Okay, so for that what I have done is, I have used this with my model.predict. Okay, and after that, be inside this variable, I'm storing the bounding box detail. Inside this variable, we are having the confidence and inside labels, um, in this variable, we are storing the labels. So over here, I'm printing all these variables and you can see this is the bounding box of the image which I've shown you. And this is the confidence code and this is the label. So label, uh, this is the index, this is the ID, okay? So ID 2 is for a car class okay so that's why we have to over here so this is how you can fetch the bounding boxes and then the labels and the confidence scores okay so now we know these two things about yolonas now the by writing these two lines you can use deep sort algorithm in your code so what we are writing is first one over here is this is the trained pre-trained uh, weight file uh, we are using deep sort pre-trained weight file and here we are calling the deep sort algorithm okay and the model path we are providing this pre-trained weight file and this max age 70 why i have written this max is 70 what this 70 is 70 means let's suppose your object is getting tracked and that object uh, at some time that object is not getting tracked for next uh, 70 frames okay then the tracker will you know uh, take that uh, take out that object from the tracker list okay so you can change this value as per your requirement right now i'm using 70 let's suppose if you want that the object let's suppose if the object is not getting tracked for uh 200 uh, frames then you want to you know throw out that object outside the tracker list then you can write 200 over here so you can change this value okay there are few other things also which you can change as per your requirement let me show you those okay so let's go in this deep sort here you can see deep sort let's open it here you can see so this 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 is the function which which is getting called over there okay and you can see here the max age is 70 okay we are providing that value over there in the same way you can see there are other things also max distance minimum confidence overlap nms max overlap and this and this this these are the different um, values so if you are building your object tracking um project and you can you know change these values and you can see how these values affects your result okay so you can change this all right let's go back to the code now so now we have deep sort also with us and we are calling the deep sort algorithm in this variable okay now let's combine the whole yolonas and uh, tracker okay and we will use it on a video so what we will do first we'll read a video and then we will give that video to yolonas yolonas will detect the object and then we will pass those frames to the tracking algorithm which is deep sort deep sort will track those objects okay and we will finally see the output video so you can see here this is my video and we are reading the video using uh, this open cv and i'm storing the frame width height and the fps like this 
and then what i want is these three lines are responsible to create the output video with the tracking id and the detections okay so we will get a output dot mp4 video once we execute this code we'll get the output dot mp4 video which will show you the tracking and the detection results okay and now we are reading the video we are resizing it option this this part is optional if you want to resize you can resize it okay and then over here you can see i'm using the yolo nas model which is trained on coco data set threshold value i've set is this you can change it as per your requirement device zero means i'm using cuda i'm working on gpu so here we are having um, we are running the prediction using yolo nas and after that we are storing the boxes confidence and labels like this and guys now remember we what we want is we want to track uh, the person class only okay so that means we only want to um, send the detections uh, to the tracking model which are related to the person class so the label of the person class is zero in coco data set zero means the index which belongs to the person class so that's why i have written label equals to zero so that we can only have detections which are related to a uh, person class okay so these are the class name the 80 classes which are there in uh, yolo uh, sorry the coco data set and now in this line what we are doing is label 0 corresponds this person class so what i want is instead of showing zero on the frame i want to have the class name so that's what we are doing over here in class name you will get a person okay and then now what we want is uh, see guys this deep sort algorithm accepts the bounding box coordinates in the form of x y w and h w h means width and height so the over here we have bounding box coordinates in the format of x y x y x1 y1 x2 y2 okay so we need to convert it into this format so that process we are doing over here and we are appending this list with the um, updated bounding box coordinates and then we are using the update function of tracker what is tracker tracker is a variable remember here here we are calling the deep sort algorithm in a tracker variable so that's what we are doing so we are using the update function of tracker and where is this update function let's go back to the code here you can see first function is init second function is update okay so we are using this update function now okay so we are updating we are providing the bounding box coordinates which are in this format confidence scores and og underscore frame is the frame okay how how we read videos in uh, open cv frame by frame so every frame we are passing it over here and then in this loop we are using the you know uh, we are working on each frame we are assigning different ids to the different tracking uh, we are assigning different tracking ids to the different objects okay and then these few lines are to adjust the bounding box okay and finally over here you can see we see we two dot rectangle so we are plotting the bounding boxes and what values we are providing to it the values which we have here okay and then we want to put the class name and the tracking id so that's what we are doing over here and then this part of code is showing the fts on the frames okay and then finally we are writing the videos in output.mp4 and we are seeing the video so let's execute this code and see how we what we get okay so you can see here yeah so fps is over here and you can see these are the different tracking ids person is the class name and then this 3 4 5 1 2 these are the different tracking ids assigned to the different persons so this is how it work okay now let me show you the output video with the proper rgb colors okay let get let it get execute okay now let's come here output track just see here so you can see the video 
so fps is 20 around 20 and these are the different persons with the different ids so guys this is how object tracking algorithm deep sort algorithm works and uh, yes so that's it guys i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching